Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good whatever time it is in the world right now. I am the Inverted Shadow, but for now you can just call me Chris. Today I'm here to talk to you about a subject matter that has actually been talked about all over the internet and is still questioned to this day. It's quite an odd subject to analyze, to put it politely, but I feel I now have the perfect opportunity to talk about it. So, what is this subject that I've built up for now? My little pony, my wait, wait. I'm doing an analysis on something like My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? No! No! Alright, shush, everybody. <clears throat> and before anybody starts bitching about how I'm going on about a show like this, like, Oh, 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 oh Shadow, you're talking about a show for little girls. Oh, you're so gay, my god. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yes. Those people, I have only one thing to say. Sit down, shut up, and learn something! Oh. <clears throat> uh, thank you. Now, before I even begin to explain this whole mess, we need to go back and look at the details. Now keep in mind, I, like many other people who only just heard of this My Little Pony craze when it was in its infancy, had no idea it would get so popular. And naturally, my first reaction to this entire thing was, How the fuck is a show aimed towards little girls becoming popular amongst grown men? Because of this, like many other people that heard of this, I chose to stay away from anything having to do with the show altogether. But on my own personal behest, and because my girlfriend pressured, it forced me into doing so, Love you, honey. I eventually caved in, sat down, and watched an episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And to my complete surprise, I was completely wrong. The show was actually pretty damn good and decent enough to keep my attention to the end. Eventually, after watching the same episode again and again and again, I branched out and finally finished watching the entire first season of Friendship is Magic. So now you know where I stand with My Little Pony, but back to the main question at hand. Why is this show so popular amongst grown men, like yours truly? Well, a lot of people who watch the show can tell you many things, but let's focus on what people like myself have noticed. Now, looking back at My Little Pony in its infancy, it seemed like the show was nothing but depicting what a quote-unquote perfect little girl should act like and be like. And it clearly shows in looking at the first three generations of both the toys and media adaptations, specifically the 1992 series My Little Pony Tales. Nothing but endless bouts of laughing, giggling, and the characters acting absolutely nothing like a real kid or girl for that matter should act. Everything was just completely forgettable, and the characters just couldn't be related to at all. Christ, even the writer of Friendship is Magic herself said that with the new series, she wanted to prove that cartoons for girls don't have to be a puddle of smooshy, cutesy, wootsy, goody two shoeness. And speaking of that, the writer of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is none other than animator Lauren Foss, who you might actually recognize for her work on series like The Powerpuff Girls and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Best show ever! <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, yes, Lauren Foss had pitched her idea for the new series to Hasbro, and they were very positive towards Foss' non-traditional elements that would normally never appear in a children's show, let alone anything related to My Little Pony. And after the show secured a slot on the hub, Friendship is Magic was greeted by much positive reception from TV critics and right media columnists alike. One particular writer even praised Friendship is Magic for rebooting the longtime Hasbro property while managing to lace it with geeky undertones, and being one of the few girl-focused shows that a geeky dad can appreciate with his daughter. So anyways, now you know where the show got its start in US television broadcasting and syndication, but I bet you're still probably wondering how the hell did it even get so popular beyond the target demographic? Well, the beginnings of My Little Pony's internet following can be traced all the way back to the internet board known as 4chan. Ah, good old 4chan. Nothing but empty-headed trolls and half-minded jerk dicks as far as the eye can see. Anyways, animation and cartoon fans on 4chan had responded to a negative essay written on the show and current animation trends. Despite already being discussed on one of the board's forums, the nature in which the essay was written had alarmed many other frequenters of 4chan, piquing their interest in Friendship is Magic and eventually resulting in a much more positive reaction and response to the show. This sudden burst of popularity in the show soon branched out to the other boards of 4chan, where many different elements of the show became quickly recurring jokes and internet memes, and as such, 4chan has created an MLP board focused on discussion of the show and the whole My Little Pony fandom. These kinds of people even have a name, as they are commonly referred to as <clears throat> bronies. What is a brony, you ask? Well, the definition of such a term would be any person that enjoys watching or talking about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. 
The female equivalent of that would be a Pegasister. Haha! -ha! The button has been doubled! But now, what are these elements of writing and character that I speak of in Friendship is Magic, and how does it all compare to the older versions of the series? Well, I think Nikon Aquamagnet anyway. 2 explained it best. My Little Pony, as a franchise, as a whole, is just stupid, tasteless, mindless fluff. It is worthless mush. It is tripe. It is horrible. It is genuinely bad for you. It's a sort of stupid thing where the characters aren't even characters. They're just little animated pieces of candy that just prance around daintily, sip tea, giggle over every little thing that comes their way, save the day by crying, and are completely and utterly devoid of any scrap of a personality. And they just purport this stupid ideology, this stupid stereotype of what a lot of people think a perfect little girl is supposed to be. But this new show... Friendship is Magic is nothing like the rest of those other seasons. This is very, very different. It shouldn't even be compared to those other seasons. It should be in its own completely separate category. It should be divorced from the rest of the franchise completely. Because unlike those other seasons, this is a little something called character. The characters no longer behave like fictional, impossible little girls. They behave a lot like real people. They have flaws. They have insecurities. They have the capacity to be mean to each other and hurt each other deeply. They can f*** up every now and then. And that's what makes them relatable and memorable. And, you know, if you, if you see them f*** up enough and make up for it, you just might start to like them. Who knows? Amen, brother. So yes, it seems Lauren Foss really wanted to steer the show away from the typical stereotypes that little girls are known for. Because My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is full of characters that one can actually relate to, instead of just a bunch of throwaway cardboard characters that have no life or personality in them whatsoever. There are even references to other media in Friendship is Magic, such as books, movies, other TV shows, and what have you. This all further separates it from being just a kid's show. And as for the fandom of My Little Pony... Yeah, far out, dude. Ever since the show started, there has been fan art, fan fiction, music videos, parodies and spoofs, and just about every other kind of tribute to this new series that you can think of. Systems. Full the creators of Friendship as Magic themselves have even acknowledged this, and Foss herself is proud to see her vision become popular beyond just small children. <laughs> Allow me to take this time just to play some of the many music tracks that musicians from the Brony community have created, just to give you all an example of how awesome this fandom can be sometimes. Because you're the reason that I'm here And you're the only one I've dreamed of You turn me away Turning me into the monster I am today We feed us and stow away all your pride The Luna Princess is back to bring the nightmares tonight You may have so you won't last without the proper care The royal farewell in an animate spell You won't have long to prepare I can't remember what happened in September When everything is gone, when it's dark and I'm alone It's been forever since I could have remembered Where the hell is every pony? I just wanna know the story of what happened right before I became so...
in finality, my little pony friendship is magic is, again, a strange subject to analyze given its sudden burst in popularity in both children and older guys like myself, but to this community, despite its impurities and flaws, is still a wonderful place to be a part of. Whether you're a fan of the show or not, the show will live on thanks to the contributions and support from its fans, and people will continue to be brought together by this wonderful piece of animation history. Now, it's time for me to say adieu to you all. Play me off, George and Jonathan! <laughs>